Hey YouTube, I'm back this time with my candle and wax empties for the month of June 2020. I don't have any chit chat, so let's jump right in and get started. So I'm gonna start with my one Yankee candle. I finished up my second of two Yankee candles in blueberry. This is my favorite Yankee fragrance of all time. It's fantastic. To me, it's very nostalgic. My mom burned blueberry candles from Yankee. Um, a lot during the fall when I was young. So to me, it kind of just brings that back, but I can use this any time of year. I also wanted to, or wanted to use it up this month because I really don't want to move it to Colorado. So I found a couple of blueberry candles at a Yankee outlet that I recently went browsing at. I also really appreciate the blueberry moment that Yankee had. Um, when was it, earlier this year, last year? earlier this year, I don't know, anyway. So yeah, I really appreciate that it has made at least a bit of a comeback. I must say though that I do miss these kind of older labels with the full picture. This one, however, I actually purchased at TJ Maxx for $14, so it was a really great find. I purchased two of them, and like I said, this is just the second of those two that I bought, so I put this in my candle crock, really enjoyed it, and I would definitely repurchase it in the future. So that is my only Yankee candle. The rest are Bath & Body Works and then wax melts and oils and stuff like that. So my first Bath & Body Works candle that I used up is this Island Daydream. I picked this up at the beginning of the summer SAS and the key notes are juicy pineapple, tangy mango, and sugar cane. Can somebody please tell me if this is just a repackage of pineapple mango or if they are a little bit different? So at the summer SAS when I was looking for candles, I was looking for candles that were produced after candle day because I was hoping to get better candles than what I did at candle day. So if you've been with my channel for a while, you know the whole debacle that I'm talking about. But yeah, I really wanted to find something that was not manufactured before that. So I was eyeing some pineapple mangoes, but I checked all their manufacturing dates and they were all manufactured before candle day. So I didn't even want to mess with it. So I picked up that instead because it's, I feel like it's pretty much the same. And in fact, the notes are pretty much the same too. Um, so yeah, I picked it up, loved it. Um, so I feel like the performance was okay. It lasted uh, maybe like four days in my candle crock, which is definitely better than my candles from candle day, but still not amazing. So I would repurchase it, but only at the right price. The next candle I used up was a Frosted Cranberry from the wintertime. It's Ice Cranberries, Blonde Woods, Red Apple, and Tonka Beans. So the notes tend to change on Frosted Cranberry um, every couple of years, but it does remain the same fragrance. So I used up that Frosted Cranberry before I realized that I could exchange candles at Bath & Body Works. So, uh, you know, while it was shut down because of uh, COVID, you know, they had that thing on their site about how they weren't taking exchanges and returns and blah, blah, blah. And so I decided to just kind of like use up my candles and just get rid of them. And then when I was in the midst of using this up, I realized that you could start exchanging them now, which is how I wound up with like these newer ones. So again, Frosted Cranberry from last winter, same story. You know, it lasted me like a day and a half and that was about it. That to me is unacceptable for a Bath & Body Works candle. Even if I only paid $9 or whatever for it, that's me paying $9 for pretty much nothing as far as I'm concerned. So yeah, I mean, it is what it is. I'm just gonna take it for the loss that it is and move on. Next one I used up is another one from SAS. I used up one of my pink apple punches in the White Barn uh, label. By the way, hate this kind of like wraparound sticker. I think it looks really cheap and trashy. Um, but I love pink apple punch. So the keynotes are crisp apple, sun-kissed melon, sugar crystals. The notes have changed on pink apple punch since it first debuted a few years ago, but it is still the same fragrance. I really like it. It's a little bit fakey, but I think it still smells really nice and sweet. And yeah, it just smells like a pink lady apple. I love it. And I would repurchase it. And by the way, that lasted an okay amount of time. I wanna say that lasted maybe about three, four or five days, which like I said, is okay. It's not great, but uh, I can deal with that. The last Bath & Body Works candle that I used up is again, one that I purchased or really uh, exchanged during SAS. It is the Strawberry Pound Cake in this kind of wraparound floral packaging. Key notes 
our fresh strawberries golden shortcake whipped cream. So I'm a strawberry pound cake fan in general. I don't love it enough to like wear it on my body all day in body care, but I do enjoy it in general. So I decided to pick that up. Same thing lasted me about four days ish, I guess. It was fine. It was a little bit weak, but I could deal with it. So yeah, I just let it go and I'm moving on. So in general, my experience for the spring and summer candles is that they are okay. So in the fall, I am going to purchase some candles, but also starting in the fall, I will be able to burn candles again. So I will probably go back to burning candles just so I can see and like compare how they're doing between burning and melting. And yeah, just I'm a little touch and go with Bath and Body Works wax right now, but it is what it is. All right, speaking of wax, I finished three wax clamshells from Walmart. I finished two from Sensationals and one from Better Homes and Gardens. The first Sensationals I used up is this Honeysuckle Nectar. It says grow wild and free. I've been using Honeysuckle Nectar for a number of years and I really enjoy it. It is definitely floral, but it's a little bit, you know, it's sweet like a honeysuckle and it's softer. So I think that if you mix this with vanilla, if you're not especially a floral person, that would still be really nice. And yeah, you, you can get this year round and I really enjoy it. <laughs> the next sensational item that says limited edition, this is the Coconut Vacay. I picked this up earlier this year. And it says soak up the sun. This to me smells like a citrusy coconut, almost like a lime and coconut. I picked it up primarily because it's a really pretty picture. Um, I love the color green, so that's really nice to me. But yeah, I, I mean, would I repurchase it? Eh, maybe, but it's not something where I like really feel like I need a ton more of. So I can see myself maybe buying it again next year if it comes out, but right now I'm good. Now, a wax that I do hoard. Better Homes and Gardens Sweet Watermelon Buttercream. I love Sweet Watermelon Buttercream. It is my favorite wax that is consistently-ish available at Walmart. This to me actually smells like a watermelon Kool-Aid. Like there's something very sugary about it to me. And I really only get a buttercream note if I sit there and like think about it and get into like philosophy about the scent but yeah it just smells like very sugary very sweet very kid friendly i especially enjoy having this in my classroom um in classrooms where i can have wax with me so yeah really love it i have more and i will always be on the lookout for more the last two items i have are just some random things i have one of these scent portable fragrance refills from Bath and Body Works and Frosted Cranberry. I bought several of these for 75% off at the Winter SAS. I really like Frosted Cranberry. It's a great wintertime scent. Do I feel like this lasts in my car? No, but it smells good for like a day or two. So yeah, I bought these, like I said, 75% off. I would never pay 350 for that kind of thing. And I really don't seek them out. So even if they were on promotion, I still really wouldn't purchase them. I do wish they would last longer because they smell good when they are releasing scent but yeah to me it just makes no sense to purchase them otherwise last thing i have is this yankee scent plug refill so it says vineyard but that's the one i'm currently using i just put the tag on here this was a sweet apricot rose is that the fragrance anyway so yeah um I like the fragrance of Sweet Apricot Rose and I bought it because I feel like it's one of the strongest fragrances from Yankee. However, I was really disappointed in this scent plug because I felt like it did not have the throw that I would expect from that fragrance. So I'm still kind of on the fence with my scent plug about whether or not I like it. I am going to keep it and move it to Denver and then I've got one more plug after the one that's currently going and then if I decide that I don't like it, I might just get rid of it. But yeah, I'm just kind of riding the wave of testing it out and see how it goes. So yeah, I'll report back on that once I have come to a conclusion on that. But that is my candle and wax empties for the month of June 2020. Hope you guys enjoyed. As always, please make sure that you like, comment, subscribe. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Yellow Brick Repat. Same way it's spelled here. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.